when Bahrain recorded its 36th casualty of COVID-19 pandemic in the form of a 48-year-old Bahraini woman, it came as a double tragedy to the victim's family who also lost another member a few days back to the virus. The woman's father, who contracted the virus during Eid festivities, also lost his battle to the virus just three days ago. As of today there are 5,486 positive cases of COVID-19 in Bahrain, out of which 5,474 are stable. 12 are in critical condition while 36 deaths have been registered. A total of 12,191 cases have been treated and discharged. The total numbers of people tested for COVID-19 are 410,842, stated the health ministry. Muharraq police charged 721 people for stepping outside without wearing masks, since the implementation of the law, said a top cop. The director general of the Muharraq Governorate Police Directorate said the violators were caught for being in public places and commercial stores without wearing face masks, thereby defeating the precautionary measures taken to limit the spread of the virus. The development works of parks and garden in the Muharraq Governorate will continue as planned with the private partnership, the municipality has said. Improvement and maintenance works are ongoing at five parks, including Prince Khalifa Park, with private sector partnership. Contractors selected through public tenders are responsible for operating and maintaining the facilities. The Inspection Department of the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism has sealed a salon hair for violating health requirements. One of the men's salons was close due to its violation of the requirements to provide massage service, an official said. The official stressed the importance of following health requirements as per the Minister of Health decision No. 32 of 2020 allowing salons and barbershops to be reopened from May 27, 2020.